second and final award, uh, actually the only person we inducted this year because, like I said, there's criteria. You can't even get on the ballot unless you meet all the criteria, and there are no exceptions. And this gentleman did exactly that. This gentleman has been in charge of the Pentagon Energy Program, uh, which is not just at the Pentagon, it's actually in a lot of places. In fact, he um, lives in California, so, uh, you know, anything's possible, right? And um, I could say a lot about his accomplishments, he's got many certifications, but Steve Sane nominated him, and I'd like to acknowledge something that Steve um, uh, wanted me to tell. Steve was having a tough time getting someone to serve in the desert at a military installation uh, many years ago. And he'd been looking, and it's a tough place to live. You know, it's out in the middle of nowhere. There's maybe not a Walmart anywhere, you know, things, things like that. Not a Costco, I should say. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Steve finds this guy from Egypt who comes over and fulfills the role and then does all kinds of other stuff and does, saves tons of energy and has a ma you know, marvelous career there. And um, this is Hossam Kassab. And Hassam is accompanied by his very successful family who flew in uh, to join him. Please join us and receive the reward. Thank you. Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? I'm honored and touched to receive this award and join the Extraordinary Professionals Energy Hall of Fame team. I want to acknowledge my family here who traveled from California and Madison to be here to celebrate this award with me. My wife, Dr. Kasseb, and Ryan, Sammy and Ryan, and unfortunately Sammy couldn't make it with us today because of work commitments. Thank you for being here today for the old support that gave me all these years. So sorry. <clears throat> I want to thank Mr. Steve Sain for his nomination and all the support. Unfortunately, Steve cannot be with us today due to the commitment. In the summer of 2008, Steve flew across the country to meet me for the first time <clears throat> and in the interviewed me for the energy position to support the Army at Fort Irwin. Since then, we have had tremendous professional friendship, and I'm honored to know him and appreciate our friendship. I want to thank the Hall of Fame Support Committee for the generosity and inducting to join you and I appreciate each of you and your leadership in our energy world today. I want to thank the EE family for everything and each of your daily works, not just for conferences, events, or training, certification courses. Thank you, Bill, and the team. They, this energy business teaches us to care about our environments and inspire us to do the right things for today and tomorrow. I'm proud of all the works that we all are doing. It has been a challenging journey with several ordeals in many changes, in many shapes, in, in many shapes and sizes. Additionally, there were many doubts about me and from, out, from others who were working closer to me. I tried my best to do the right things for the right reason. Honestly, those who thought they were putting water in my fire, you're adding gas to it, and I'm burning so bright now. Thank you. As all of you know, the energy program is intense and requires hard work. More than just technology and business innovators, innovations are needed, it's required policy. How can we from outside the power industry questions the wisdom and experience of the executive 
engineers, academics, who design and operate today grids. Let me share a sentence from the book, First on the Moon, by astronaut Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. When an elderly and distinguished scientist tell you, tells you that something is impossible, he is almost certainly wrong. The expert can spot all the different difficulties, but needs more imaginations or, vi or visions to overcome them. The layer man ignorance optimizing in the long run and often in the short run turns and not to be nearer the truth. Even Albert Einstein failed to see a uh, future he would help create when he said, there is not the slight the slides indication that nuclear energy will ever be obtainable. It would mean that the, uh, the autumn would have to be shattered as well. You are not alone in facing hard and demonstrating, demand, demanding and challenging to achieve your goals. We all do. Working together continues our engagement and learning from each other. We all overcome, we will overcome all these obstacles and have a great future for us and future generations. Thank you all and I'm very proud to be here.